Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ammeters and voltmeters. So first, let's get started with a little T-chart to explain what the difference is and what they both do. So the biggest difference is that ammeters will measure current and voltmeters measure voltage. The second big difference is how they're placed. Ammeters are going to be placed in series with the resistor you want to look at while voltmeters are going to be placed in parallel around the resistor you want to look at. And the reason why is because of this third point, ammeters have a very low resistance and voltmeters have a very high resistance. And if you're wondering why that makes it good that ammeters are in series if it's very low resistance and voltmeters are good for parallel because it's very high resistance, if you want to know why that is, just think about it. Think about Ohm's law. And if you're still confused, comment below and I'll answer your questions. So now let's look at some questions. The first one I have here, I have a circuit connected to two resistors like this. Both of these resistors are going to be six ohms. The battery is 12 volts and I'm going to place a voltmeter here around this 6 ohm resistor. And the question is what's the reading on the voltmeter? But another way I could ask this is what is the voltage on this resistor? And so there's many ways that you can find this voltage on the 6 ohm resistor. In this problem I would recommend using voltage division which only works when the resistors are all in series. And what it's going to look like is V1, where V1 is the voltage on the 6 ohm that I want, is equal to V total times resistor 1 over resistor total. So in this case, V1 equals the total, which is 12, times resistor 1, which is 6, divided by R total, which is 6, plus 6. And so that becomes 12 times, that's just 1 half, and so we'll get a voltage of 6 volts. That's the voltage on the resistor we wanted, and since the question was asking about the voltmeter reading, the answer is just six volts. So that's it for that first one. For the second circuit I have, I have an ammeter here that is in series with two resistors who are in parallel, like this. I'll say the voltage source is eight volts, the left resistor is 12 ohms, and the right resistor is 24 ohms, and I want the reading on that ammeter right there. So in other words, we can find this by finding the current at the battery, or you could also add the two currents across these two resistors, but I think that would take a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is, if I wanna find the current as fast as possible, the first thing I would do is I would combine these two resistors who are in parallel, and the way we add resistors in parallel is R total equals quantity, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 to the negative first power. And so that means it's 1 over 12 plus 1 over 24 to the negative first power. You plug this in a calculator and you will get 8 ohms. So that's the total resistance. In other words, if I were to redraw this circuit, still the 8 volt battery connected to the ammeter, also connected to the 8 ohm resistor right there. And now if I want the current, I can pretend that the ammeter is not even in the circuit. It's like not even there. It's invisible. And I just want to find the current. To do that, I'm using Ohm's law. V equals I times R. So voltage 8 equals current unknown times resistor 8. Divide both sides by 8. Current is just 1 amp. Very easy for that one. And another one is done. And then the last example we're going to look at today is the hardest one. So here's my circuit and I wanna find the ammeter and voltmeter readings. The ammeter is connected to the two ohm in series, and the voltmeter is connected to the four ohm in parallel. So it doesn't matter which one I find first. I think it's gonna be easier to find the ammeter reading. And to find that current, I need to remember that this blue path is in parallel with this red path. And the important thing about that is that if they're in parallel, that means both of these paths have the same voltage. In this case, both paths have a total of six volts. And since the blue path is really just one resistor, it means that all six volts belong to that two ohms. 
That's great because now I can do Ohm's law, V equals I R, voltage is six equals I, which I'm solving for, times resistor, this is the two ohm resistor here. So divide both sides by two, and we get a current of three amps. There, we already found the ammeter reading. Now the voltmeter reading here, a little more challenging. The first thing I'll say is that all three resistors together are six volts, because again, they're in parallel with the blue path and the battery, so they're all gonna have six volts total. Now, since just these three resistors are in series, in other words, let me group them together like this. The three of these resistors are in series. It means I can use voltage division, the same equation I used for the last one, except this time the numbers will be a little bit different. So V1, the voltage I'm looking for, it's on the four ohm resistor, is the total voltage, which we said was six, which by the way, it will not always be the battery. For instance, if I had another resistor right here, this resistor would be eating up some of the voltage, so it would be less than six for the other two branches. And if that was the case, then I'd have to do a whole lot more combining resistors and finding different voltages to solve the problem. Luckily, I don't have to do that because that resistor does not actually go there. So anyways, V1 equals the total, six times resistor one, which is four, divided by the total resistance. This is not the total resistance of the whole circuit. This is just the total resistance of the three resistors in series. So it's four plus three plus one or eight ohms. And that's gonna be voltage one equals six times one half, three volts. And there, there's my readings on the ammeter, which was three amps, and the reading on the voltmeter is three volts. And that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.